Hello, my name is Sadie Robertson and I'm talking like this because I love One Direction. Hello, I'm Colby Koloff and I'm talking like this because I hang out with her a lot and this week is You Become the People You Hang Around. Yes, you become the people you hang around. And I'll start off this week with a scripture mm -hmm. from Proverbs chapter 22. 22 verses 24 and 25. It says, don't befriend angry people or associate with hot tempered people or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. Which really this is saying, it's basically saying that the people you hang out with is reflecting on your actions and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, bad peer pressure is just as equally powerful as good peer pressure. So the Bible right here is talking about an example in bad peer pressure and how if you hang around the people that are always bad tempered, then you're going to be more tempered and be negative and stuff. But hang out with good people and they'll peer pressure you into being a better person and be more positive and happy in your everyday life. Yes. Now, this isn't saying don't be friends with people who aren't Christians or don't be friends with, you know, people who don't believe the same thing. That's not what we're saying at all. But... Take a look at your five closest friends. Look at their morals and their values and the things that they put their faith into and their time and their um, their strength. And just be like, is that what I want to put my faith and my strength and my time into? Because even if right now that's not what you're putting your time and all that into, eventually it will because you become the people you hang around. If you're going to hang around with somebody who likes hamburgers okay and you've never had a hamburger before and you're like ah you know i've never had that before and they're like oh but it's a good hamburger and you're like you know i guess i'll try it you eat it and you're like wow that's a good hamburger <laughs> and look now you're having a hamburger a day so just be aware and just choose wisely and i mean it's just it's kind of scary, you know? You just have to be very aware with everything around you, especially your friends, because you want to have friends that are going to influence you well. Now, let perfect me Perfect example of something that happened today. Colby decides she wants Crocs. Woo! They're so cute. Let's be honest. I know some of y'all don't like them. They're coming back. Crocs and socks, okay? Okay. She decides, Sadie, will you take me to the mall so I can get a new pair of Crocs? Okay. Just because your friends do something does not mean you have to participate in it too. It's okay Even to stand up for something. yourself and be different. Like me, I am not going to go buy a pair of Crocs. I am sorry for all the Croc lovers out there. I love you all, but I do not love Crocs. And so <laughs> it doesn't change. mean that because I hang out with her, I have to go wear Crocs. Yeah. You can stand up for yourself and be different. Be like, you know what? Not my thing, not going to do it, but still be friends with them. See what I'm saying? Yeah, just just a everybody. little example, but you can take it into a lot of life situations. I don't know what she's talking about, though. I think my Crocs are awesome. Whatever. Try to tell her. Now, no. on a serious <laughs> note. Okay. Well, first off, um, please comment and just tweet, Facebook, Instagram. Do everything you can to get the word out there. We want to keep building this so more and more people can hear what we have to say. Um, comment topics that you would like us to hear about and we what did I just sorry I didn't mean that comment stuff you would like us to talk about there we go got it right um, and we would you know we would love to see those and just see what you guys are interested in hearing us talk about um, and then next uh, I met a youth pastor at when I, one of my appearances a few weeks ago and he asked me if I would hold up this sign and take a picture with it and I was like oh you know what's that for and um and he, there's a little girl named Destiny who found out 17 months ago that she has bone cancer. And um, she used to be a dancer. And uh, it's just chemo and everything has really changed her life and affected her. And so she just wants people to be more aware that kids get cancer too. And so if you post this picture and um, you post it to their Facebook, which the little you know way to get on their Facebook is right here, wherever you know, it's going to be right here. Uh, click that, post a picture holding this, and, um, you know, tweet it. Just do everything you can to raise awareness for these kids that have cancer because I just can't imagine what they're going through. And so just really want and hope you guys do that. 
And there's a million others that are just like Destiny out there that have cancer and they just don't get, they just haven't thought of an idea like this, but that doesn't mean they're struggling just as bad. So mm -hmm. we just ask that y'all please awareness. raise awareness and also just pray, pray, pray for their families because I'm sure that prayer means mm -hmm. more to them than you will ever know. Prayer is very powerful and we mm -hmm. strongly believe that it can change anybody's life. So thanks mm -hmm. for watching this week and we hope that y'all retweet and do everything to get the word out there and watch next week. Woo! Bye! Bye! Bye.